if this is your first time officially receiving a job offer, or perhaps you wanna practice how to effectively and professionally accept an offer. In this video, I wanna break down the steps of what you should be doing when accepting your job offer and give you examples of how to write your acceptance email. Hi everyone, welcome back. And if you're new here, thank you so much for joining. I'm Lara and on this channel, I make videos on how to build your career and provide you the tools you need to land the job that you want. Go ahead and click that subscribe button so you don't miss out each week when I post new videos. There are four stages in accepting a job offer. By knowing what to expect in the process will definitely help you make the decision and know the time it takes to finalize. This also helps you understand when you can actually start negotiating your salary in the process. The four steps of the job offer are verbal, written offer, negotiate, and accept the offer. Once you've had that amazing interview and the hiring manager or recruiter has checked your references, they will contact you directly over the phone to verbally offer you the position. And this is great news because you get to hear it from them first that you're the successful candidate. I want to just clear the air. When you're given the verbal offer, this doesn't mean that if you accept, then you can't negotiate your salary or your package later. You still have that opportunity, so you can definitely say yes and that you're happy to accept and be excited to join the team. This also makes a positive impression before you even start the job. They will continue to explain that a formal letter will be sent to you for your review. The second step is that written offer. They will then provide you a formalized written offer and usually it's by email. They will include your official job title, your starting salary, the start date and benefit package. It's important that you understand and review this document to ensure that you're fully aware of what you're signing up for. Be mindful of that start date to ensure you're giving your current employer enough time of a notice that you're leaving. Most companies, they do require two weeks notice if you worked with them for at least a year or more. And some companies do have in their contracts that a minimum time frame of notice that needs to be given when you move to a new company. So be sure to check that out. The third step is one of my favorites. It's the negotiate the offer step. Employers are prepared and expect that people accepting job offers will negotiate some aspect of the contract, whether it's the salary, the benefits, vacation, or even the start date. This is your time to include it in your response back. And if you're going to negotiate your salary, you want to provide that rationale as to why you deserve to have the higher paid salary explain why you believe you should be paid that amount you ask for due to your education and your experience levels. You won't know if you can have that higher salary unless you ask for it. Employers won't think negatively of you and most will appreciate you asking as long as it's within reason and you have that explanation to back it up. If the salary they are offering is 40,000 and you wanna double that to 80, then it's safe to say that they will not accept that and actually think negative about this situation. By applying to a specific job and doing your research, you should have an understanding of how much you should be getting and be sure to give the estimate of what you're aiming for. So for example, if they offer you 45,000 and you can provide that range of 48 to 55, that way they can meet you somewhere in the middle and still provide you that added salary. Sometimes they are not able to negotiate salary due to budget limitations. So if you're accepting the job and it's really out of your salary range, then you can decline or try to negotiate other aspects of your offer. The last step is accepting the offer. Once you have negotiated and approved what conditions they've included in your offer, it's now time for you to formally accept the terms of the contract. This is great because it gives you that stamp of approval that you're finally hired and joining their team. In the email, you want to clearly state 
what you're accepting, and that you agree to the terms. Here are some examples of how you accept an offer. So you would say, dear hiring manager, I am pleased to formally accept the offered position of, and then you list it, thank you for this opportunity. As the offer letter displays, I'm happy to accept the starting salary of, and then you put the amount. I look forward to starting on, and then you put the date, and also write, if you require any additional information from me before then, please let me know. I can be reached at, and then you put your number or your email. At the end, you say, looking forward to meeting the team and starting the new role. Sincerely, and then you sign your name. In the description, I will include the template that I just went over with you so that you have it as a reference and can use it hopefully in the future. There are many who don't want to negotiate the offer letter and feel as though if they say something, the employer will think negatively of them. This is not the case. And in fact, only 39% of people actually negotiate their salary. I've previously done a video where I walk you through how to negotiate your salary. I will leave a link in the description so you can check that out to help you when you're reviewing and accepting your next job offer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a like and I would love for you to subscribe so we can stay connected each week when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.